heavy shot. So recently, Dan has been bugging me uh, all summer to go out and pattern our shotguns. So we went out to the Himes farm and, and we did that, but Dan wanted to see what the difference was between heavy shot and steel. So I'm gonna show you a quick video of Dan and I out patterning our shotguns, and then when we come back, we're gonna talk a little bit about patterning and the difference between some of the heavier loads and the steel. Well, old Danny boy and I are out here at the Himes farm. He's gonna pattern the Remington 870, which he used last year. Our little range we've got here, we, we uh, me measured this all off out at the Himes farm. And- It's a lot of pressure here. I don't know if I can get this. We're gonna go 15 yards, 25 yards, don't shoot till I tell you, and 40. All right, this first shot is 15 yards with heavy metal expensive load. Yeah, $1.25 a shot. Here Whenever you're ready. Ready? Yep. <laughs> All right. Our heavy metal twos at 15 yards. Shooting an improved cylinder choke. It's a pretty nice pattern there. Looks pretty good. Okay, now we've got the Remington 870 with federal steel twos. Whenever you're ready. Now the Federals appear to have a much tighter pattern at 15 yards. At 15 Here. yards, you're talking a different of 10 inch. 10 inches, yeah. 10 inch diameter. All right, now we've got 25 yards. This is the heavy metal expensive load. Improved cylinder, heavy metal load at 25 yards. Pattern's starting to break up at 25, isn't it? So the heavy shot was about 25 inches by 29 inches at 25 yards. That's a lot of stuff, a lot of junk yeah, up here. With a lot of outliers flying out. So it's starting to, pattern's starting to break up a little bit. Yeah. So this is uh, Federal 2's from 25 yards. Do this for a second. All right, so here's our pattern for Federal 2's at 25 yards. That is way different. It is way different. It's holding a much tighter pattern than the heavy heavy metal. All right, heavy metal at 40 yards. Wouldn't even. So improved cylinder at 40 yards with the heavy metal, you should not be shooting that far. It just, there, look how many holes there are on that pattern. That's out of range. All right, yeah. I would never shoot anything at this distance, no, would you? I'm not with an improved cylinder. So what we're finding here is the heavy metal hold, does not hold as tight a pattern as the Federals do. It's a slower load, about 1,500 feet per second uh, versus the Federal, which is 1,550. And I know that their claim is, you know, the impact that it makes and the power that it has. So we don't have a way to measure that. But as far as the patterns in an improved cylinder choke, we're seeing that 40 yards is definitely out of range if you're shooting the heavy metal um, with an improved cylinder. So we'll see what the Federal does here. Federal shells, and again, they are holding a much better pattern. Huh? It's just a much better, it just holds a much better pattern at distance than. Right, so um, you've watched that video. Yes. And honestly, I don't I don't know much about um, loads and ballistics and and steel versus tungsten and lead. And uh, I know that they used to shoot lead for duck hunting. Right. And right right I believe right about the time that I started hunting, they switched over to steel. Do you remember when was that switch from lead to steel? Boy, it was the early '90s, and I'm I'm not sure exactly what year we started, but we've been at it about twenty about nine about, about, about 90, 90, 91 is yeah. when we started. Yeah. I know when I started hunting, people were griping about oh, the difference between lead yeah. and steel. So before we talk about the patterning, what were people's complaints about the lead versus the steel, and then kind of what was our progression through different? Well, they felt like that they just couldn't kill ducks with steel the way they killed them with lead, and they were right. To begin with, but uh, and why, why did that? What, what was the difference? Well, the reason was that 
the the heavier the shot, the more punch, the more wallop it packs. And lead's heavier than steel. And lead is much heavier than steel. And so they were they were killing ducks with fours and sixes mm -hmm. and of lead. Of lead. Mm -hmm. Right. And so they were used to that. And uh, so but even back then they were telling us, well you need a you need a a bigger pellet. Steel doesn't have the wallop that lead, a heavier load has, that what we need is more velocity. So we started loading a little higher velocity. Like I started loading 1440. Feet per second? Yeah, uh-huh. And then sometimes when I didn't have my shells with you, you, you went out and bought some Federal shells that was about 1360. Mm -hmm. And we discovered that we could kill them at 1360. And so we were doing a little bit of both. So, um, <clears throat> When Dan and I went out and patterned the shotgun, um, we were both real surprised that the heavy metal pattern broke up a lot faster at a lot shorter distance than the Federal Steel did. And I, I didn't have any idea why that would be, but if you like saw on the video, um, the, the twos with an improved cylinder, heavy, heavy metal, was totally patterned, was terrible at 40 yards, and was starting to even break out at 25 yards. So why, what's the, why is that? Well, happen? the thing I noticed, I can't tell you why the heavy metal didn't pattern as good as the steel. Uh, they're both really hard pellets, so I would think they should probably, probably pattern about the same, but I, we noticed that. However, I would say that it's, it's not a fair comparison because you don't shoot, if you're shooting number two steel, you don't shoot number two heavy metal or tungsten or bismuth or anything. So those let's stop, stop for a second and, and define um, heavy metal or like a heavy shot is typically made of tungsten or bismuth is another. Bismuth is heavier, almost as heavy as lead, and it is softer like lead. Tungsten is hard, and but they they mixed it with nickel and iron and so it's it's an alloy so they call point. it heavy metal because literally it's just it, they're using literally heavier it's, metal. it's heavier and you can actually use a couple shot sizes smaller and get the same pack the same wallop so what what does this mean it means that you're putting more if you're using smaller pellets you're putting more pellets in that shot shell so you're actually delivering maybe almost as much as two times the number of pellets with the same wallop as you would with steel. Mm -hmm. And so it's gonna, in that situation, it's gonna reach out farther because it's got more pellets. Now with, with you know, we love Rogers. And, and Dan was telling me with the rebates at Rogers, we could have gotten heavy metal this year for about the same price as we got federal. So I, I was just looking on the internet, and what they're advertising now is a fifty a manufacturer's fifty dollar a case rebate, and they're selling it at a reduced price of about two hundred dollars a case. So that's about one hundred fifty dollars. So that's uh, and we bought our we bought our steel for a hundred dollars. Yeah. So and I know that um, I'm sure that lots of viewers have used that, and they rave and rave and rave about. The heavier metal products. If it, is it that much better that we should be spending fifty dollars a case more? Well, I mean that's really with you and I split. Yeah, we're talking twenty five bucks yeah. extra each. Well, after uh, after reading uh, some more about it and after seeing Rogers' price, if they continue to have these kind of programs next year, once I finish up my steel, I may try some of that. I think that would be. A, I know Dan's going to. I mean, we could shoot fours instead of twos. Yeah. So if, if, if you have, and maybe you guys can help us out with this because we, we've never shot it and you seem to know more, you know more than I do. But it, so if we switch over to like a heavy metal or a heavy steel, then we can use fours and sixes on mallards. Right. Instead right. of twos. I know a guy that knocks down mallards with six, six steel. And that's crazy. But he does. And can you imagine what you could do with a... a uh, a number six that was half again as heavy. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention well, about? That? Well, I would just say when you're patterning your gun, what I would do is, if you're not using a standard target, I would place a, a cross in the middle and then I would brace my gun so I could shoot right at that cross hatch. Mm -hmm. That way I can tell 
whether the load is going this way or going that way or up or down and then I, that also then will put the load right in the middle of that paper so I can see what the pattern is exactly. So I, I don't know if you know this or not. People say you need to pattern your shotgun. So if you pattern your shotgun and it's not patterning well, then what do you do? Well, you can try a different size shot and, and not all the... Do some guns themselves not pattern well? Yeah. and Just and because of... I, I, can't, I can't tell you, but it's just if you want to know what your how your gun is patterning with a particular choke and a particular load then you got to pattern it otherwise you don't know but then i think that we probably should get out and pattern again um like you were talking about and pattern more for if it's shooting straight yeah i said i definitely like to have the how my pattern how my the spread of my pattern was at those distances uh one other thing if you're interested in the heavy metal or heavy shot program uh, the heavy shot is all the tungsten alloy. The heavy metal shell actually loads steel in first and then a smaller heavy shot metal BB uh, or pellet on top of that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a mixture. Yeah. So anyway, comment below about your experience with it. And I don't just want to hear that, you know, you use heavy shot and you kill them. What I'm looking for is have you made the conversion from steel to the heavy shot? and what direct impact has that had? Because I think we should probably take a year where we switch over and we could, I mean, we keep, like I said, we keep statistics on our shooting percent, everything. So we could easily tell you know, how it makes a difference. Or not. Right, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we don't shoot those long shots. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna be impressed with how it drops a duck at 60 yards. Yeah. Cause we're not gonna be shooting 60 yards. I want to end my decoys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but Maybe we could tell a difference in how hard they're hit within the range that we shoot. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the closer the range, the less effect it's going to have. Well, steel. We're just, steel I would is think really, we would just kill a higher percentage of ducks. Our shooting yeah. percent would go up, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Perhaps. Uh, if my shooting there, percent doesn't more, go up. I'm not going to pay more money for a shot. Yeah. Well, same with me. There, there may be more distance, more difference at longer distances because those heavier pellets don't lose their energy yeah. so fast. All right, so that's all we've got for today, but fill up the comments section with giving us more information about it because we use these forums to learn. I think I've learned quite a bit from some of the comments. Oh, yeah, I have too. In fact, yeah. I had to go back and make a uh, um, annotation in a different video about something I said that was completely incorrect. <laughs> so anyway, I'm oh, learning well, a lot from comments. It's like we're perfect and we never make any yeah, mistakes. Yeah.